Hey, yet again I am walking in Mexico while my wife gets her hair done. It's pretty cool out here. Some train tracks. It's like a whole little town up there. Lots of bridges going over the tracks. Some kids from the school on the other side can get back home. It's pretty cool. I'm just walking along the train tracks. We're gonna go down to this little spot here, check it out. It does seem a little dangerous. It's like a tunnel down there. Okay, I totally ate crap falling. It was probably a bad idea to walk where I walked. Now I'm just walking down the train tracks. Got some tunnels down there, hills on each side. Probably not the best idea to walk through here. It is a little suspicious. And if a train comes by, I mean, it's gonna be very easy, I think, for a rock or a piece of debris to get kicked up and hit me. So, I might turn around. There's some kids on a bridge making fun of me. That's okay, though. I'm like the only white guy around here. But it's pretty cool around here. Also, by the grace of God, when I fell, my camera took a big dunk on the rocks. And the only screen that got cracked was the screen on the front of my camera that I put tempered glass onto. A little selfie screen on this DJI camera. So thankfully I didn't crack the main screen. I think I've taken enough tumbles now with cameras to be semi-decent at avoiding that, but I'm gonna walk through this tunnel. It's full of trash. Looks very dusty. I might turn around. It's kind of sketchy. Very dark. But I want to bring the world of YouTube good content while I'm traveling. Oh man, I can barely see in here with my sunglasses on. Okay, so I'm walking through the tunnel and I notice a big pile of trash and there's like a fire going in the tunnel. I see smoke. That's why it was kind of dusty looking in there. I thought it's because the trains were coming through here kicking up dust and it kind of concentrates in these tunnels. But this dude had a full-blown campfire going and it smelled like burning trash. Did not smell like, you know, a wood campfire. But he said, pasale, pasale which means like, go ahead, go ahead. And I said like, you know, solo estoy caminando, which is I'm just walking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about homeless people in Mexico. In the US, you know, they're kind of everywhere on the streets and the big cities, and I'm used to that. But out in Mexico, I don't, I don't know what the deal is, you know? But my experience, most homeless people are pretty chill. I haven't had very many bad experiences with homeless people. I've walked around a lot of places like this I've been under. A lot of train track bridges and stuff and you know spots where the homeless might hang out along the river the mississippi there's a lot of little homeless spots but yeah it was a little wild i don't know kind of sketched me out a little bit it's chill mexico's chill you know i was hoping i'd find some snakes or some scorpions or something out here but this lady at the stylist place told me that uh there's not really any of that out here i saw some lizards i wish i could have gotten it on camera a lot of little lizards running around, but pretty much lizards and homeless people. I still should watch where I'm walking, because you never know, I've, I've seen snakes on train tracks. I don't know about in Mexico, but I'm in a new bridge. The old bridge is back there with the dude, but the dude was friendly, but a lot of people are friendly right before they rob you, so I don't know. I might get out of here, because uh, it's still just walls. There's a little spot on the other side I can climb up on and hop out of here, but a little apprehensive after falling that first time. I might continue this way. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, I made it out. Got a little field over here. I don't know if I want to walk through a field because they said there's no snakes, but I don't know, man. I think there might be snakes or something that might bite me, like a, even like a little scorpion because there's scorpions at my wife's house. I've seen them. We've killed them. We saw a little baby dead one the other day. Ah, uh, it looks like a little bit of a road here with some footprints, so that's nice. 
probably just walk this way. This is a kick butt view though. We got all these houses up there on the mountain. Big hill up here, big cliff. Let's follow these uh, kind of decrepit tire tracks. Oh, there's a car up there. There is a car up there. It's probably like the railroad authority or whatever they got out here in Mexico. I saw a cop on a train earlier with a machine gun or a rifle. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta be careful out here. Oh my god. Walking through this tall grass makes me a little uneasy. Maybe I'm being a baby. I'm gonna get out of here though. It's got a cactus here. Some little cactus fruits on it. If you can see that. Those little tunas. They're very good. Alright. I'm out of here, back on the street. People do look at you funny out here. It's not really a tourist area. Yeah, it's not a big tourist area, so... I don't know, you gotta be a little cautious. People aren't used to seeing guys walking around with cameras like this, I think, especially white people. So... We'll see how it goes, see if I can walk around some more otherwise. That might be it for this tiny adventure in Mexico. Peace. Pretty cool.